sometimes caring is so hard. <laughs> sometimes it's easier to just say, I don't care. And sometimes you wish you didn't care. And sometimes you can't find the strength to care. <sighs> Today, Today's a day where I'm really digging deep <laughs> to care. <laughs> digging deep to care enough about my wellness to do the hard things. So sometimes that first step is finding the strength to care. And when I say it's that first step, it's the step you have to decide to take every single day. <laughs> sometimes you feel so disconnected and so apathetic and so dark for the lack of a less cliche term that it's it's really hard to care <laughs> it's really hard to dig deep and to care guys welcome back thanks for joining me today today I want to talk about something that was um, very true for me and maybe it's true for you too when we're talking about finding motivation to change whatever that change might be, change anything about ourselves, any behavior, change our life, change, finding that motivation. I know for me, it was always sort of this process. So I'd identify something that I, I really didn't like. I didn't like the way it was, either myself or my life. So then I'd kind of try to change out of a negative motivation. And because it was negative, because it was like, I hate that, I hate that, you know? So I was driven by negative things, or I hate the way I look, or I hate, anyway, I was driven by negativity. And so then I'd fail, because I don't believe that motivation from a negative force actually works very well. At least it doesn't for me. So I would take that negative motivation and, and try to change it, and it, oh, hair, um, and it wouldn't work. And so then after I failed, instead of like, dusting myself off and trying again, I would just act like I didn't care. Like, oh, I don't care. I don't care. And it was always very um, disingenuine. <laughs> My, I don't care. I'm happy I'm this way. I, you know, I like it. I like that I'm whatever. Like, almost, it wasn't true acceptance of myself. It was like a, a denial slash I'm just not going to care because I didn't feel like I could change it. And so if I didn't care, then I wasn't failing. It was just like this cycle of like negative motivation, try, fail, well, I don't care, I like it. It's almost like an adolescent reaction, a very immature reaction to like, oh, well, I like it. No, don't help me. No, I can't change it. So just, I don't know. It felt like that for me. It felt very 15-year-old me. Who am I kidding? 19-year-old me. <laughs> Got married when I was 20, so. That try and fail at any time, if you try and you fail, you don't want to fail and you don't want people to think you're failing and you don't want people to look down on you and so you want to convince them that you just don't care and you want to convince yourself that you just don't care so I think sometimes half the battle is daring to care be willing to care be willing to admit to people and yourself mostly that you do care that you do wish things were different that you do wish you could change and just getting that chunk of honesty with yourself of like, dare to care. Dare to care enough to try. Dare to care enough to try again. Dare to care enough to find what works, to keep that trial and error game going until you figure out what it is that will work for you. And then even after you find that, there's gonna be bumps in the road. So you're gonna to have to learn this concept of caring enough to do something about it and caring enough to admit to yourself that you don't really like that. You're trying to not care, but you do care. And being willing to admit to yourself and understand that you do care and that you are not who you want to be or your life is not the way you want it to be, that who you are and your goals and everything, they're not lined up with your values. And until you're honest and you dare to care enough to change those things, they'll never be in alignment. And to stop playing the game of, I don't care, I don't care, I like it, I'm, I'm fine, I don't care. And I'm not talking about self-acceptance, because saying you don't care is not accepting yourself. That's brushing yourself under the rug. That's lying to yourself. Um, self-acceptance is something completely different, but... Um, so don't, don't fool yourself into saying, I'm just accepting myself as I am. Accepting yourself as you are, and this is actually something we'll talk about later in the week that inspires change. 
Accepting yourself and loving yourself today inspires change and progress. Saying you don't care and you're just fine and whatever, that's brushing yourself under the rug. That's not taking care of yourself. That's not making yourself a priority. And that's not motivation to change. You're not gonna change anything if that's your motivation. First step is admitting you have a problem. That first step is really admitting to yourself that you do care and that you do need to change and that you do want to change and that you're not okay with it. So stop saying, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. It, that's not self-acceptance. That's just self-apathy. I mean, it's, it's, it's not productive. Dare to care. Dare to be honest about the fact that you care. So much of it, I think, is wrapped up in fear of other people's opinions. I know, um, for me, a lot of it, I just, I didn't want people to feel bad for me. I didn't want to be the person that people had pity for. And I didn't want the people to think that I was failing. And so if I didn't care and if I wasn't trying, then I couldn't be failing. And I didn't want... And I couldn't even be honest with myself about that. So every single day I tried to just be like, I don't care. I don't care. But I always cared. It wasn't until I dared to really care that I found the motivation to start making some changes. Dare to care. There's motivation in that. There's motivation in actually caring. Thanks guys, we'll see you tomorrow.